Hello, and welcome to this session in which we will discuss information technology and internal controls. Now, technology is part of internal control. We learned that technology can help us strengthen our internal control through password, through firewalls, and other techniques. So technology possesses the potential to strengthen, to bolster a company's internal control system. This can be achieved through various methods, although what comes with technology are some unique sets of challenges. In this session, we will discuss the advantages, which are the benefits, and let's call them the challenges, not the disadvantages of information technology. I, I would rather call them the challenges. Also, we need to discuss the general controls and application controls. So when it comes to information technology and internal control, we have general controls, which we'll cover in a separate recording, and we'll have two to three recordings covering application controls. But in this session, we're going to look at the benefits and challenges of information technology. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. I'm going to start with the advantages. One of the advantages of IT is processing large and complex of transaction on a consistent basis. This allow management to do what? To process a vast quantity of transaction. Computers, information system, they don't get tired. If you have an online store, it's open 24 seven and they do this consistently. 24 seven, they don't need to take lunch break. They don't need to go on vacation. They work all year long. It also help us avoid human errors, but sometime could lead to substantial losses. And we'll talk about losses when we talk about the disadvantages. Also, information technology can deliver timely information, prompt and accurate information, information on time that's crucial in many industries, basically in all industries. You want to get the information as soon as possible. When someone sends you an email, when someone submits a sales order, you want to process this, get it as soon as possible. For example, supermarket can use technology to track inventory and sales in real time. A tax return software enable faster and more accurate calculation, benefiting both the company and the taxpayers. So those are information of using inf those are advantages of using information technology. Other advantages of using information system or information technology is the production of a lot of data, massive data production. And what can we do with this data? We can use it for analytical purposes. And now we can take this data, use it via an artificial intelligence software. It's gonna give us more about the company. So the introduction of technology into business typically leads to an exponential increase in data generation. You would know who's clicking on your links, on which page, who's liking certain posts, so on and so forth. This wealth of data can be harnessed, can be used to perform analytical procedures, to gain better insight into the operation, market trend, therefore guiding us into more strategic decision-making purposes. And bear in mind, also for audit purposes, we have more data to audit. The more data to audit, that's better. More data means what? It means we have more evidence, which is it's going to increase our reliability. Also, it would reduce mathematical error. Using information system, provided the system are functioning as intended, means programmed accurately, technology can reduce, if not eliminate, arithmetical inaccuracies. Again, assuming it's programmed correctly. Okay, this is another instance where technology is a double-edged sword, as any bugs or malfunction within the system can potentially lead to errors or data corruption. So simply put, if everything is programmed correctly, you're good to go. But if something is not programmed correctly, for example, in Pennsylvania, sales tax is 6%. In the city of Philadelphia, they add 2%. So if you're programming the software for the city of Philadelphia and you kept 6%, well, guess what? The merchant will be sure 2% 
they're going to have to come up you know, with that shortage when they pay the city of Philadelphia that additional 2%. But as long as it's 8%, it's 8% constantly. Other advantages, it enhances security controls. Technology offers the advantages of integrating security measures with an application, databases, and operating system. And these measures can help in segregation of, of duties and defines user permission effectively. For example, if you are giving authority to to access only account receivable and certain customers in the account receivable ledger, that's the only thing you can access, minimizing the risk of unauthorized access or action. However, this also comes with a double-edged sword, because if you have a vulnerability in the system, it can be exploited, leading to potential security, rich, security breaches. That's, again, double-edged sword. Another advantage of IT is the improved monitoring of the system. Technological solution can streamline and enhance monitoring process for management. For example, a company could have a dashboard tracking all the application, what's happening in, in real time. Reports on various accounts, users, other key metrics can be generated and reviews, thus enhancing oversight. So I know exactly how many transactions a user processed. I would know how many accounts we open today and other key matrices where I am in charge of my business. Also, exception reports. What are these exception reports? Exception reports when the system detect, when the information detect an anomaly. What's an anomaly? Something unusual. For example, we sold or we are trying to sell to a customer that that we are exceeding the credit limit for. For, for example, if a customer has a credit limit of 10000 and somehow we are trying to sell this customer 12000 worth of goods, the system will create an exception report. It will not process the transaction, of course, but it will create a report indicating that a user was processing this transaction. And this is to highlight, so exception reports are to highlight unusual and unexpected results. For what purpose? So we will investigate little further. That's the purpose of it. Other advantages of IT is a hardened internal control system. It's gonna improve internal control system. A well-configured technology based system can be difficult to bypass. Computers strictly follow instructions. So computers don't misunderstand your instruction. They don't get tired. Once they are programmed properly, they will do it properly. Okay, so computers strictly follow instructions and rules programmed into them and removing the possibility of a human error or manipulation. Again, this could be a double-edged sword though. Any flaws in the setup may open loopholes that can be exploited. But think about, for example, let's assume we set up a rule in the system where we don't issue a check to a vendor unless we have a receiving report. Now, if it's a human processing this, the human can override this, say, okay, you know, the, re the receiving report is in the mail, um, you know, that's okay, let's go ahead and process the check. A computer will not process the check without a receiving report, assuming we have the proper controls in there. So that's the beauty about IT is it doesn't, it doesn't make exceptions. And if it makes exception, well, the good thing is you can keep track of it. That's an advantage and that's a disadvantage. Sometimes it's going to be costly to do so, the audit trail. But that's why it can harden. It can make it strong. You could It could give you a stronger internal control. Let's take a look at some disadvantages. The first disadvantage is, the first disadvantage is systematic errors versus random errors. As I mentioned earlier in the example for the sales tax, 6% versus 8%. If the system is programmed to collect only 6%, we are going to have systematic errors, such as incorrect tax rate in financial software, then can have a widespread and long lasting impact as they influence all transactions until they are discovered and corrected. So the, the error is massive. Also, the problem with the the problem with information technology is we have to have physical protection of hardware in software and the data. Safeguarding physical resources like hardware from misuse, sabotage, and environmental damage, such as fire, heat, and humidity, is an ongoing challenge. Also, you have to have an investment upfront. That's a lot of cost. Infrastructure, robustness, and appropriate use policies are vital for mitigating those risks. Other disadvantages is unauthorized access. When, you, when your system is based on IT controls, it means it's interconnected to other systems. Then unauthorized individual can potentially access a company system from anywhere in the planet, from Eastern Europe, from Nigeria, from Africa, from the Middle East, from anywhere in the world, from Canada. 
So cybersecurity measures, including firewalls, intrusion detection systems, strong access control are crucial to defend against such threats. And we have many sessions talking about IT security. Also, relying on IT system, we could have data loss. We could lose the data. Losing valuable business data can have catastrophic impact. Now, what you can do, you can have regular backup practices. Also, it's better to backup your data with an off-site option or cloud storage are essential for preventing data loss and enabling quick recovery in case that happens. Other disadvantages is reduced audit trail. Now, reduced audit trail means it doesn't mean reduce it. It doesn't exist. Sometimes it might be costly or it could be hard to trace it. Okay, but generally speaking, software these days, they can they can track who did what. For example, I teach QuickBooks, QuickBooks Online. And per semester, I have 30 students using QuickBooks. And I audit. I audit their steps, see what they did. So if they made a mistake, I can go back, see exactly what time this individual log in, what did they exactly do? They may tell me otherwise. We didn't do this. As they look, look at the audit trail. This is when you logged in, and those are the steps that you undertook. But sometimes, if it's a little bit of an old software, you could have a reduced audit trail. The digitization of operation may result in fewer physical documents, which can complicate the audit process, which is the traditional audit process, or it could be harder or more costly to audit. However, digital solution can provide more comprehensive and efficient audit trail provided they are correctly implemented and utilized. So make sure when you buy a new software, make sure to tell the programmer, I want the audit trail. I want to track who's doing what at what time exactly what steps also over reliance on computer generated report we have a bias to say well it's a computer report it must be correct well while technology can enhance accuracy and efficiency there is the risk of over reliance on computer generated report which may lead to a lack of critical review by human oversight we assume it's good okay so we have to strike a balance between automation and human involvement to avoid this pitfall other disadvantages of IT is the lack of traditional authorization. In traditional authorization, someone will have to give the authorization. Manual method of authorization might be bypassed or neglected in a digital environment. For example, a pricing error might slip through the system if the system aren't programmed correctly to flag an anomalies. That could happen. Well, if the system doesn't catch it and there's no human authorization, we're going to have a systematic error here. So regular system checks and balances are essential to detect such systematic risks or errors. Also, when it comes to segregation of duties, sometimes technology reduces separation or segregation of duties. Technology might reduce the separation of duties, which is a key principle of internal control, but how? By consolidating tasks within a software. Okay, so you have less people involved, you're relying on the software. Yeah, sometimes you might have, you know, conflicting duties. Care must be taken in a system design to maintain adequate separation of duties, ensuring no single individual or system has complete control over critical process. Other disadvantages of IT is you need ex experts, need for IT expertise, cost money. Technology system are as only as effective as the people operating them. And also, who's in charge for what? You know, if the people in charge, they don't know what they're doing, then it's a disadvantage. So businesses require personnel with adequate IT experience to install, manage, and troubleshoot their digital infrastructure, which can be a significant investment. Also, you need to keep it up to date on a constant basis. Regular software updates, such as those for QuickBooks or TurboTax, for example, for the tax software, are a crucial part of maintaining system security and functionality. Now bear in mind, these updates may require additional resources and can cause temporary disruption to business operation. So what we did here is we looked at advantages and disadvantages of IT technology. What we're gonna be looking at next are the general controls and application controls. What should you do now? Having the big picture, you know, advantages and disadvantages of information system and control is good, but you really want to go to Farhat lectures and look at additional MCQs through false question to really understand those subtle differences between advantages, disadvantages, general controls, application controls. Whether you are a CPA exam candidate or an accounting student, take it seriously, invest in yourself, good luck, study hard, and of course, stay safe.